Morella, let's go. Today, under the Morella umbrella, I'm gonna talk to you about something that's very near and dear to my heart, philanthropy, helping people. Being an Angelino, sometimes I run into people that are a little bit down on their luck and I always want to help them. It's just in my nature. I always have friends that ask me, Morella, how can I help? If you have money that you can donate, a million dollars, awesome. If you can't do that, my nose is itching, sorry. I got cat hair on my nose. If you can't make monetary donations, believe it or not, there's things that we have around the house that will make a world of difference for somebody. Things that you forget about. They're in your, your bathroom and you don't even look at them. I like to make what I call hope packages for the less fortunate. And it's so easy to make them and it costs basically almost nothing to make. It may not seem like a big deal to you, but it changes somebody's life. It gives them hope and it gives them a sense of dignity. Everybody deserves hope. So what I have in front of me is an array of different items that I've actually collected over my travels. I've done a little bit of traveling and you know, every time I travel, there's toiletries, right? In your hotel or motel room, shower gels, shampoos, soaps. I've become the queen of collecting them because I'm gonna put them in my hope packages. It's really simple to put these together. The first thing you're going to need is a Ziploc bag. I like to write a little message on there. Write something nice, obviously. Good luck and a smiley face. So here's what I suggest putting in your care package. Shampoos and conditioners are always important. Mouthwash, toothbrushes, floss. It's the little things that make a huge difference. I have a shaving kit here. Shaving cream. I have a mending kit. Okay, a mending kit, you're probably thinking right now, Morella, what are they gonna sit around and sew their own clothes? But they get holes in their socks and their shirts. And yes, this is actually very helpful. Soap is a very important one, right? Of course, put in soaps, protein bars, right? Or nut bars, full of protein. They're easy to carry around. They don't need to be refrigerated. And a little cat hair. Also, <laughs> Q-tips and cotton balls. Bottle of water, of course. Being able to feel, a, uh, what's the word, what am, what am I? One of the things that is highest in demand, but least in supply is socks, believe it or not, okay? So you can use one of your old pairs of socks. Do not put a pair of socks in there that has holes. Obviously that defeats the purpose. Morella, what are they gonna sit around and sew their own clothes? Do they get holes in their socks? Lastly, but not least, money. Now, take it break. No, I'm just kidding. Whether it be a one, a five, a 20, whatever you're comfortable with or nothing at all, it's up to you. And then you zip it back, I mean, you, close it and you have your little bag of hope okay the goal is to let them know that somebody cares and they can get back up on their feet and they don't have to be there for the rest of their lives i like to have three to four hope packages in my car because you never know how many people you're going to run into that are going to need them thanks for listening to me today thank you for being with me now go out and help somebody